Welcome to Perry's. My name's James, I'm the German Sales Manager here and I'd like to take you on this video walk around of this Hyundai Tucson. So this Tucson here is finished off in the premium metallic finished paints called Micron Grey. It's a 1.6 petrol manual and it's done just under 34,000 miles. It's a one owner vehicle with a full Hyundai history. Comes up really nice even on a sunny day like today. So some of the outside differences on the premium are the chrome surrounds that you'll see around the doors. 19, uh, sorry, 18 inch alloys that have a slightly different design to the FC Nav models. Just look inside the boots. So 60-40 split rear seats with a tonneau cover. And you also get a space saver wheel. So looking at the condition of this car, there's no obvious marks on the outside. It's in really, really good condition for the mileage of the vehicle. And then we'll just look on the inside. So the high end eye warranty that you'll get with this is five years from the date of registration. So the car was registered in 2018, so you'll have until 2023 for the warranty. The back seats don't even look like they've been sat in. So this is the first model that you get in the Tucson range that will come with leather. So this is quite a rare and sought after vehicle, especially in this color paint. You also get heated seats in the back. And then just moving on into the front, again, if we just look at the seat condition so you can see. So the seats uh, are actually in very good condition. Uh, normally uh, you'd expect seats to crack on the bolsters. These are, these are fared really well actually for the mileage and to go super shiny and again holding out really well. So being the facelift model there are a few key differences on this to uh, a premium model that would have been a year newer. One of which is the floating touchscreen. So if you went for a year older model the touchscreen would have been sat into the dashboard. So it's a start stop button down here so you just push this. So the touchscreen will give you built-in sat-nav, which is really nice and easy to use. You just click the big icons. You've got a map here as well. You can click this and then the junctions or turn by directions will come on this side. Radio, including digital radio. You've got media. And when you click on this, you'll be able to select uh, USB, Bluetooth, auxiliary. Setup menu. So phone projections, so the car's got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. If we just start the engine up. Rear view camera, which is pointing at the sky at the moment because the tailgate's open, which obviously you wouldn't normally drive like that. Well, hopefully you wouldn't. Um, dual zone, oh, just stalled it. Uh, dual zone climate control. Um, so the driver can have a different temperature to the passenger. You can sync them. Um, or if you turn this and then this one, you'll see that they're different temperatures. Heated front seats, USB auxiliary, 12 volt power supply and a wireless charger. So the majority of modern day smartphones have actually got built in wireless charging function. So you just place your phone on this pad down here. The little light will come up on here. When the light's on, it means that the phone is charging. As soon as you lift your phone up, the phone will stop charging. Got some buttons down there for steering mode, hill descent control, start stop, parking sensors. Just moving over to this side, you've got blind spot monitoring. Okay, so when this function is working, if you're on the motorway or on any road actually, and the car comes up in your blind spot, then, um, then little lights will come up on the wing mirrors and the car will make an alert sound. Now, it doesn't look like, it does look like it's flashing, but the light stays on constantly. It's just the way that the camera picks it up. All electric windows, including power folding wing mirrors. Automatic lights, automatic windscreen wipers. You've got cruise control, infotainment system, buttons as well. Little menu setting that's on the dashboard in the middle. And then the other bonus with this car is it does actually come with the Krell audio sound system. So lots of people haven't heard of Krell, but if you were gonna go out and buy a Krell amplifier, uh, you probably won't be able to pick one up for less than £15,000. Really premium sound, 
doesn't crackle or anything like that. And this is the first model on the Tucson range that came with the Crow Audio sound system. And you'll see this nice finish on here with full leather with stitching. If you've got any questions, please do get in contact with us using the details on this page. And one of my team will be more than happy to come back to you and answer anything that you need to know.